Tara, what's, what's wrong with you? I'm, I'm wondering what's wrong, too, but I think it's what happened last night. But speaking of what happened last night, we have my boy here with bunny ears, actually, about to come on up. What happened this, last night? Um, <laughs> so we have Elegant. This is Elegant, right? And we have um, uh, Abadango. Yeah, Abadango. Uh, wow, we're going to go right into it. I guess, you know, no breaks at all. I guess, yeah, they must have been ready before we, even, uh, before we were. There's so many crazy matches in the stream so much. I'm definitely not surprised, but I'm excited to see this. So this is Top 96, uh, winner's side. Abadango. Yeah. I actually saw him uh, playing against someone earlier. He did a crazy combo. I believe it was versus AC's Falco. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, crazy Abadango plays this weekend. Uh, absolutely one of my favorite players to watch. I just love watching his YouTube's man. He's so precise. And it always volatile. It's really scary to just be in the ground. So, look, look uh, Elegant already at 87%. With I blinked, man. What happened? <laughs> Not too shocked to see. One thing that Abadango is going to have to look out for, Elegant is probably one of the best edge guarders in the game. But just by uh, spamming the down B attack, really good at keeping people off the stage and making them after they use their second jump die. And that might what, be a KO already. What were you saying? What, you, what were you saying about the edge guard situation? <laughs> Tell me more about that. Well, once he gets the person <laughs> off the stage, <laughs> he'll be able to edge guard. But no, I, I mean, I, the, the thing about Mewtwo is that at the very least, uh, one of the best air dodges in the game, you know, uh, Mewtwo's recovery is amazing. So he's not going to have to worry about that too much. Obviously, it's always a threat, but uh, not so much when you have, you know, as many tools as Mewtwo does to make it back to the stage. Very true. And Luigi's the type of character that if you're able to push him away, he doesn't pose much of a threat to you. So Abadango are playing Mewtwo. Mewtwo's one of the best characters at, I guess you could say, spacing away. It's almost like he has a sword by using his tail. Yeah. Being very safe on the ledge. Elgin, Elgin down by quite a bit. Mewtwo, of course, being one of the lightest characters in the game. 108%. This is more than enough for uh, you know, a good read from Elgin. Uh, maybe like a forward smash. Well spaced. Wow. Possibly looking for the K already. If you can get a fair off stage. Oh, that's the nature of being a glass cannon, Keitaro. Doesn't matter, man. He, he loves the rage. You know, 108 is a blessing and a curse. It's going to give you a little bit of rage. And that forwarder off the side is going to do it. Extremely fast match. These Ooh, are best time out. five sets. Oh, timeout. Okay. I'm calling timeout early, man. How many timeouts do you get per set? Um, I believe it's one timeout per set. Each person gets a timeout. This um, is a three out of five, homie. You should. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I will probably have, I would assume, um, his other partner, BP Smash Dudes, Arvart, come in and give him some advice. Yeah. You know, it's good that that first match was a two stock. It didn't go too well for him. Uh, I'm sure he's probably looking for any type of, you know, any type of advice he can get from anybody at this point. So that's, uh, I guess, not a terrible time to call a timeout, but uh, relatively early. Come in, of course, sitting behind Abadago. Just chilling. <laughs> no he's advice not giving needed. him any advice. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's like, just yeah. hanging out. He's like, oh, he's good. Two stock, he's good. Hmm. And shout out to this production by a 2G Gaming, man. The lead of the stage is beautiful. Yeah, it just keeps changing. Like, I did not see that Toon Link uh, pic picture up there. Yeah, they, okay. they've been cycling it through the weekend. They're the Pokemon. Right, Dreamline is the counterfeit. Game number two between Elegant and Abadango. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. What do, you, what do you think went wrong in that first game for Elegant? Um, I just feel like he could not approach Abadango. He was getting comboed way too hard. He needs to block the, the beginning strings from Abadango so he can at least you know, stay even. And there goes the down B. He's already looking for it. Yeah, so I'm talking about that air dodge. Going to get him out of situations on top. That, that up B is being a, a teleport. He doesn't have to worry about trading with that down B, you know, like a lot of characters do. And it looks like he's trying to jump in with Ferris. Um, but Fair doesn't actually reach that far, so it's almost like a bait. He tries a Fair, then he tries a Fast Fall, mm. land, and be able to hit Mewtwo. Oh, uh, Shadow Ball is going to eat that green Fireball. Both down air is going to miss. But we see Abadango still on the attack here, man. Looking for that up smash. Did not quite get it. He did get the up tilt, but Luigi has one of the fastest attacks to come out. But we do have the down B coming out. Not able to get the KO. Good stuff to Abadango saving a second jump. And man, Mewtwo in such a good spot. You can trade with that down B as long as you have your jump. You know, you, ha you have the air dodge to jump with. And the up B is going to be a teleport. Don't have to worry about uh, another down B or even you know, anything else that you can do. <laughs> Elegant doing much better in this second match, though. Wow. Elegant already using two down Bs and simply just waiting for the air dodge and Mewtwo being one of the lightest characters in the game. Able to get that up smash with some rage. Oh, I believe it was below 100%. Very nice by Elegant. Uh, it's still very scary to wait for that air dodge from Mewtwo. Of course, it's, uh, you know, the frame that is so good. <laughs> he keeps going for the down B off the stage, but I think Abadango may have watched Elegant matches or just knows and is saving a second jump every time. So one down B is not going to be able to make it work. He needs two. Yeah, but why, you know, why not? You know, the trade is in your favor. You're going to knock your opponent in a, a very, very bad situation uh, while you, you yourself are moving towards the stage. So uh, wow. uh, if you're not dying, then keep doing it. Yeah, might as well. It doesn't hurt. Great yeah. ledge cancels coming out from Abadango. Going to keep himself hard to hit. Uh, still looking to close out this first stock. Wow. I don't think he's within up, or up throw range just yet. Yeah. Oh, possibly now. But he needs to be able to get in. Now it looks like Abadango's going on the aggressive side. 
but Elegant's not losing his stage control. He's staying completely centered. Even though he's throwing out all these aerials, he's not leaving his spot. He's not even jumping on the platforms. And yeah, look how patient we see Abadango. I don't, you know, I love the patience coming out from him, but he is behind the stock, and now, uh, with the amount of rage lose, he has no jump. Oh! <laughs> oh! Did wow. he have a jump? Yeah, maybe he did have a jump. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like he might have uh, burned it, but I guess not. Yeah. In any case, uh, yeah, that up throw will finally do it. But uh, Mewtwo, of course, being such a light character, that's 76 on him. Usually, at, for most characters, that say, you know, that's not that bad for Mewtwo, though. You know, 10, 20 more percent, that could be stock. Extremely bad. He needs to get these combos out pretty fast. And since, oh, he's 90% now, and up smash could probably KO. And if you put Rage onto Luigi, it's just going to KO even earlier. Very scary situation to be in, but that's, I guess that's kind of like what you accept when you choose Mewtwo as your character. Man. Yeah. Complete last cannon. The really good thing about Mewtwo is the ability to not get hit. If you play Mewtwo really well, it's hard to get hit ever. And speaking of, you know, Mewtwo players who play very well, I think Abadango is the best in the business. Yeah. What? <laughs> Let's go Abadango. Love the recovery. Good choice going onto the platform. It's always interesting to see players that stay very confident in those scary situations. No. Oh. That's, whoa, that dramatic zoom in. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Elegant. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, well, oh, Bunny Man. All right. So, okay, we do have Arvark back there um, giving some advice. So, good stuff to Arvark for giving that advice to help Elegant take that game. Yeah, Possibly I don't know what he told stage. him because that was not even close to the two stock from the game of one. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like he does really well if he can get the first stock off. And you will see Abadago, like, kind of fishing for the KO, looking for fares, looking for a run in um, up tilt into up smash. And Elegant's just staying away from it, not going on the platforms, not overextending, is able to keep his lead. So if Elegant can do that again, especially on a stage of platforms like Battlefield or Dreamland again, I think yeah. it'll be fine. Uh, we might see a completely drastic change of stage. Yeah. Or, no, we'll just go to oh, Battlefield. Going to Battlefield, same track platform layout. Uh, of course, wider blast zones, as you know, everybody in the world knows by now, but yeah, still got to mention it, man. One of the good things for Mewtwo on this stage is that up smash it does hit through the platform. So you be, might be able to get that running up smash. The cool thing about uh, tri platform is Mewtwo is going to get a lot of opportunities to ledge cancel his up B and make his movement a little bit more uh, you know, hard for Elegant to deal with. Very nice. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> like Luigi out there, man. <laughs> He's like the combo master today, doing some weird combos that you just rarely see, yep. using like almost all three platforms for it, too. Looking for that grab? Alright, this is very good by Abadango having a very strong start, but now he's off the stage. And this is the position that Elegant wants. Having Abadango on the platform is swinging while not even losing a stage control. Yeah, but there's a ledge cancel I was talking about. He's going to get a ton of movement options, you know, extra movement options, and have much, much easier time landing against Luigi that most characters will not have the ability to do. Overextended a little bit too much using that down B. Was, wasn't punished too hard. Oh, gosh. I love All that. Right. Staying patient while recovering back to stage. Doesn't want to fall into one of Luigi's traps. You know Elegant is the edge guard master. He's waiting for his opponent to make a bad move for returning back to stage. Oh my goodness. Don't go too hard. Off the stage. Good fighting, Elegant. Is that it? Oh, why is there so much? It's so funny to see, you know, how much recovery they have uh, after getting hit by that down B. You just see them slowly moving towards the blast zone. It's like, why aren't you pressing a button? So, like, <laughs> I can't, man, you know? That's so hilarious, though, because Elegant was off the stage. You would think that would be a good position, Rob. Oh, he's off the stage. Time to get him. <laughs> now you're dead. And that back air on the, on the shield going to shrink Luigi's hitbox and make him miss that grab. But uh, Abnango will end up taking that stock. Looking really hard for that grab, it seems. Going for the run and fares. Using as a bait once again. And so far, this uh, looks like a great adjustment since game one from Elegant. Okay. I think tournament errors are definitely a big thing going into you know every match that we see on stream uh, from now probably until the end of the tournament. <laughs> everybody sitting, everybody still in the bracket right now knows, man, <laughs> there's been a lot of upsets. I could be the next one. Yeah, <laughs> they could be the next one. They could be the person that wins the tournament. Yep. I, I don't know. I don't even know what's real anymore, man. Looking really hard, trying to do jump and air dodge, mixing it up this time instead of fair, and good stuff not air dodging right there. Abadango was always looking for that air dodge so he could get the fair. That would have been a KO for him too, yeah, considering he's the side of Sage. Both these players always looking for their opponent's air dodge. That's kind of going to whittle down the shield a little bit more. Uh oh. Abadango doing this about recovering very <laughs> high. He, he doesn't even want to be in that situation against Luigi. Yeah. Pretty strong rage coming out from Elegant too, so one up smash may be able to. Actually, not this percent, but getting pretty close to it. 74% possibly a slightly charged up smash, but he won't even be able to get in. Yeah. He's just trying to even get close to Abadango. Yeah, I love that. Charging a Shadow Ball underneath the platform going to make it very hard for Luigi to approach him. Ooh. Falling Fair not going to be enough. Don't have that uh, Battlefield pick going to come back and bite Abadango. Oh, and he's going to sh shoot it? 
Hold on to it, you know. Keep the current his opponent. <laughs> He's there though. Wow. Set up for a grab, and that's gonna be enough. Wow, that quick camera change. These guys are prophets. They this, knew. This is beautiful to see. Just seeing how Abba Dungle keeps people out. He'll throw the shadow ball, and you think like, okay, let me dodge it, and then that's he's already waiting for your bone position. Yep. He's waiting for your roll, your air dodge, just so he can grab you. Very quick by Abadazo. Yeah, but it's really, really hard to approach me to, uh, you know, charging that or shooting the fireball, or I'm sorry, the shadow ball underneath the platform, because, you know, you only really have one area or one way to move towards him. And honestly, Abadazo was waiting for that situation, ends up taking game number three. It's now 2-1. Hmm. That was still pretty close, though, so I feel like we might see another stage with platforms. Here we go. Two Lilac. Uh, we'll possibly find out why he decided to choose Lila, maybe for those down B early intercepts. Let's look for that again. I think we're doing the world tour, man, you know? Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> what a way for Abaddon to start this game number four. That's exactly what he needed. Now Elegant has a huge mountain to climb if he wants to even up this set. Oh my goodness, Luigi is the perfect weight for that type of thing to happen. Yeah, wow, and the Lila pick, man. I, <laughs> Elegant probably not <laughs> about that at all. I think that probably goes without saying. All right, but you never know what can happen. This is Luigi. Elegant loves to go for those up B hits if he can actually get in. Yeah, he's going to have to make crazy play to keep himself in this game. Uh, Mewtwo already at 75%, so honestly, uh, you know, he's playing the best character to make a comeback against, that's for sure. Already looking for the up smash. Good choice. Might as well go for the KO option. If he can get it at this percent, it won't be so bad. But now 57, looking for the air dodge again. Yeah, it's really scary, man. Uh, you know your opponent's always waiting for your air dodge. It's like, man, where, when do I use my air dodge? When is it safe? <laughs> Pretty much never against Abadongo, in my opinion. A nice back air towards the center of the stage, so I'm not going to KO just yet, but oh my gosh. I think he is holding on to his jump, though, so even... Oh, again, Ledge Cast is going to save him and move him to the other side of the stage. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, oh. I'm pretty surprised he's able to Ledge Cancel 2 on Lila at stage. That's moves. Like, reads the air dodge, but doesn't get the up tilt that he wanted. Uh, you know, still working on a great stock here. Elegant needs to make something happen now. He needs to pull out the stock now if he wants to keep himself in this game. He's trying so hard for it, but we have Abadango consistently rolling backwards and just spacing so well. I feel like Abadango's already going to start looking for that fair pretty soon, given the rage on me too. Yeah, uh, any type of damage, man, because he knows he's honestly he's getting within a, a up, up throw range, not anymore, as he loses all that rage. Illusion uh, 91, though, still a great, great way to start off the stock and this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> He <laughs> gets him off stage, already looking for the down people. Oh, oh so goes scary. the high road. Uh, Elegant, oh please! Wow. Oh, and that <sighs> he oh, pretty much almost like, kind of <laughs> lost that because he grabbed the ledge twice from mistake due to being stuck under the yeah, lilac. That's, oh, man, stage. that's so, so unfortunate. Uh, mm. the, you know, the way the end of that match played out, it, it almost seemed like Elegant was like, oh, man, I got to, <laughs> you know, getting flustered, accidentally getting stuck on the stage. And maybe like a delayed, like, panic response, yeah. you know, but... Oh, that's a little rough. And he grabbed the ledge twice, so he had to get off the ledge really quick. Yeah. Otherwise, Abadango may be able to just, you know, there's no more invincibility. So he tried to get off really fast, and that's where he just shot the ball. He might as well just shoot it. So good stuff to Abadango going through that with a 3-1 win over Beefy Smash Dudes Elegant. Mm. Yeah, shots to Beefy Smash Dudes, uh, you know, sponsoring some of our players. It's great to see more sponsors in the uh, mix. Mm -hmm. uh, good choice, <laughs> picking up people from SoCal, too. Uh, SoCal scene, as you can see, is growing. <laughs> uh, yeah, just you know, like a little how beautiful bit. this is. <laughs> Shout out to this amazing crowd. By the way, we got a 2G Gaming Civil War. Shout out to all, all of our people who make it out. If you guys couldn't make it out to this event, please try and make it out to the next one. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, and we have some replays of the last match. Elegant just waiting for the double air dodge. That's one thing me two players love to do, getting that up smash KO. Yep, doesn't matter how good your air dodge is. If you air dodge to the ground, you're going to have that recovery. I need a clean up smash by me two. It's, I'm sorry, up, up throw. Up throw, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to saying uh, up smash. And beautiful. Leave yourself open for just a moment. You're Mewtwo at 150. You're, you'll pretty much die from anything. Yeah, I, you know, long before that, honestly. <laughs> and that forward air, uh, yeah, that forward air from the middle of the stage. Pretty surprising that I was able to do it. Fair, fair, Ugh. fair. And that was a combo at the end too. We just couldn't get out of it. Yeah, just honestly, an unfortunate series of events for Elegant in that uh, you know game number four. It's really good stuff. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, no, stuff. I, oh, I got to get out. Stop. <laughs> It, it it happens, you know. Uh, that was that was his counter pick, though. I I feel like the tri platforms was, or not even just the tri platforms, but any any platforms on uh, you know Battlefield Dreamland, Lila. I think any platforms was definitely helping out Abdango with the way, uh, you know, uh, you know, get, giving him extra movement options is not going to help out your character. Um, he you saw him in a lot of situations where most most players or most characters would have a hard time landing, and then you know Abdango would be like, oh, let's cancel, jump, let's cancel. It's yeah. How do I catch this guy? He's already on the other side of the stage, you know? Exactly. And there's like three platforms, too.